Hello, Hamish here from mortgagesonline.co.nz. I'm here with Kasmira Munro. How are you, Kasmira? I'm well, thanks. Uh, from A Grade Property Management, we're going to talk tenancy changes laws, uh, tenancy law changes, uh, healthy homes bill, but also things like fixed term tenancies might be gone or are gone. Yeah, so basically, um, fixed term tenancies will become periodic tenancies from now onwards unless both parties the tenant and the landlord agree to continue on with a fixed term tenancy and if they do they need to have that in writing at least 21 days before the end of the fixed term tenancy now a tenant who wants to leave is able to give notice and that notice has increased to 28 days um, from the previous 21 days um, but if a landlord needs a tenant to leave at the, the end home, of the fixed term, at the end yeah. of the fixed term, they have to follow very specific rules that are set out um, on the tenancy services website or as property managers. That is something that we can advise on. And just to be clear, uh, those specific reasons are things like um, missed rent or late rent, more than five days. Yes, that's uh, right. Three times in a ninety-day period, documented. Uh, and then or if it, or offensive behaviour offensive behaviour or like if that. a landlord or their family member wants to move in yeah. um, so specific- for genuine reasons and I think you need to also for some of those things you actually have to apply to the tenancy tribunal you don't automatically yeah that's right so basically it's just a way to make sure that um, landlords are not getting rid of tenants for a reason that isn't genuine yeah Um, And for us as property managers, um, probably some of the things that you mentioned, like arrears and and antisocial behaviour, it's something that we really need to keep um, very good track of um, and address straight away so that if we get to the point where a landlord is using that as a reason um, for a tenant to leave or end the tenancy, that we have all of that documented. Which will help at the tenancy tribunal. Um, Now, Healthy Homes Bill, that's obviously... uh, We've known about that for a while, but Mm. uh, the rollover date is 1st of July, right? Yeah, so 1st of July is really when all homes um, that are tenanted need to come up to the healthy home standards. So that means... There might be some leeway for existing tenants, but... but Yeah, Yeah, there could be. Um, As a rule, we're working towards the 1st of July 2021... Um, to ensure that rental properties have things like fixed heating, usually in the form of a heat pump, um, adequate ventilation in the kitchens and bathrooms, insulation, um, moisture drainage, and draft stopping in gaps or holes, particularly for older properties. Yeah. And I think what you were saying earlier is that there are um, companies that can check these out yeah so um, we can get someone in to take a look to make sure that a home is healthy homes compliant and if there is anything in there that needs to be done they can then make a recommendation on it so there there are a lot of things that are obvious that um, you know we ourselves or the landlord would know like having a heat pump for example but then there are certain things like insulation ceiling and underfloor that we would sometimes need to get someone in to have a closer look at. Yeah, because the actual guidelines are very specific. They are. And um, the good thing is uh, there there is a great place to find a lot of the stuff. Yeah, so that would be the Tenancy Services website. So tenancy.govt.nz outlines pretty much everything we've spoken about um, to do with the fixed term periodic tenancies and also to do with the healthy homes standards um, and what needs to be done to properties. Hey, look, well, thanks for coming in, Kasmira. Um, it's been very insightful. Hopefully you guys have found it handy. Um, look, if you... Um, yeah, I mean, it, there's, you can search tenancy changes and things like that, but there's the tenancy website itself, .govt, has done a really good job of outlining some of this. Some of the stuff is hidden, like the periodic stuff, is actually in the changes section as opposed to what's law now. Because yeah. it's, it's, it's um, even though... It, it's probably going to be rolling over by the time you watch this because some of it's yeah. February. 
Uh, and for the properties that we manage, we've been um, talking about this for a while now um, in order to make sure that um, all of our properties up to standard and our landlords and tenants are aware of it. Cool. Well, thank you and thank you for watching. Thanks.